Hey, what's up, Sean? A quick demo video for you for your Electrum Remnant. Uh, as you know, this is installed with the Profi. You provided the Profi, and then you also provided uh, a Smuggler's Outpost dark side speaker. So that's what this one's got. This is a two button setup. So you'll see when you get this in person, you have two tactiles right here. Your front one is your activation, and your back one is your auxiliary. All right. Um, the front one for your activation is just a tad taller than the auxiliary and that was done on purpose. Um, you've got CC savers in here for your lit NeoPixel connector. Um, so one thing you'll want to do when you get this guy to get to the chassis is you'll want to come over here and loosen this screw in the pommel and then you can pull it straight out. Um, how I designed this is uh, this pommel is an extremely tight press fit for this chassis. This is not meant to come off at all, okay? Uh, super tight. All of your sound venting is right there. There's really no need for this to ever come off. So that's how that is is um, how it's designed, right? Um, but you've got a removable battery right here. Um, your profi board is just a snap fit down into the shelf. So uh, if it comes loose on you in the future from popping it up or whatever, you can use some E6000 on the sides. Um, but for right now, it's holding very tight. Um, and you can get to your SD card and your micro USB without ever moving. That, that's how that was designed right there and then you had asked for a kill switch um, so I did do a modification in this chassis and put a kill switch right here okay let me grab a battery real quick um, I did tear up my battery a little bit in this guy testing it because uh, what I found out was this square cut out here and this square cut out here they had some burrs on the inside that I didn't see at first and it was kind of catching onto uh, the battery and ripping it up a little bit. So I went in here with a file and I cleaned those up and it's not an issue now. Okay. Um, but when you put this battery in, just like that, there is a metal strip that goes from one side of your battery all the way to the other. You'll see that when you get it in person. Um, I ride that right up top of the chassis here. I don't put it inside the chassis. Okay. Um, you take the sticker off if you if you buy any extras for this um, I would take the stickers off okay because it is a tight fit but you put that battery in you flip your kill switch and then we'll put the uh, chassis in the saber so as you can see this has um, it's got the wireless switch connectors you want to line that up with your switch box and then you have a channel right here in your chassis um, that channel is for this grub screw right here. So I've got it lined up exactly where it needs to go. You don't ever need to move that. Uh, it helps you align this guy so that the uh, switch mechanism lines up properly. Okay. If you don't have that lined up, this won't push in all the way. All right. So you push that in all the way. Now what you'll want to come over here and do is tighten down this retention screw. I'm not going to do it for the sake of this demo because this is a pretty tight fit into the saber. Um, but yeah, you'll come down and just tighten that guy up right there to keep everything nice and solid. You can come over here and hit activation. So your LEDs are lighting up like they should. This does have the stock font package on it. Activation. I'll turn it off like that. You have a uh, just a knurled screw right here, like a thumb screw for your blade retention, which is really nice. So you don't need to use any kind of Allen key up top. I will throw a blade in this guy. Um, this was this, this takes a one inch diameter blade. And then we'll tighten it down. And come over here and turn it on. Right? A nice shine through in your windows. I did give you a twist off. Lock up. Very solid saber. Everything is nice and secure in here. Twist it off like that. And we'll come and we'll take this blade out.
my blade has been sanded a little bit um, and it's quite stiff in there. So you might, if you have a brand new blade or something, uh, you'll probably want to do a little bit of sanding to that guy. Okay. Um, then we'll come back over here. Of course, you'll loosen that again and pull this straight out just like that. And then we'll just come over here and flip the kill switch. All right. And then you can pop it out from the positive side by the pins over here with your finger. You shouldn't have any problems doing that. Um, but basically that is your Electrum Remnant. Uh, let me know if you got any questions. And if not, I will get this guy out in the mail to you Monday. All right. Thanks.